Hi everybody. Um, what you're seeing here, this is, I think, one of the keys to getting better at modding Daisy community private um, custom servers. And by modding, I don't really actually mean creating your own mods. I kind of, I'm talking about installing mods on a, on a server. So what you're seeing here on my local PC, this is a local Daisy server. I know it doesn't look like much, but there's um, Daisy server uh, underscore x64. That's the server program. You've got all your um, add-ons here. We've got our batch file there. If you go into the missions, you'll find the init.cs, um, and we've got the config files. And since I have um, started being able to install a local Daisy server on my PC and play Daisy single player on that and install mods on that, I've understood so much more about um, installing mods, why they don't work, how to update them, all the little intricacies that you simply don't you don't really have the time when you're installing them always remotely on a remote server. Now, the reason why I can do this is because I've hired, rented, whatever you'd like to use the word, a um, Shadow Boost cloud gaming PC. So I've got a high-powered Windows 10 PC sitting on a in a date, data center somewhere in the UK with, um, that I have access to that I install all of my my programs to. So if I minimize this, actually, you can you can kind of see. So this is my cloud PC. Um, this is the desktop on it. You see, we've got Armor, we've got Daisy, Company of Heroes, Call of Duty, PUBG, all that sort of stuff. Um, and that that's in the cloud. But the the, the 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 technology behind it is amazing. It's virtually lag free. Very occasionally you get glitches, but you, there's a little technique you can use for sorting that out. Um, and it means I can install Daisy locally, and, I, um, and obviously that's that's Daisy there, so I can play it and I can connect to a server or I can connect to my local server. And everything you do, say, with FileZilla, with your FTP client, um, that you do to, to install mods, you know, subscribing to the mod on Steam, downloading it, copying the missions folders, mucking around with the config, you do it all locally, and it is such an eye-opener as to how these things work. And again, it's it's all about the speed of repetition where you can try something, see if it works, and if it doesn't work, it's no bother. You can just stop, stop the, um, stop the server. In fact, let me show you how fast it is. So, if I want to start the server, um, I can have different what we call start batch files here. So, I've got start um, community online tools, start expansion, start winter churners, start zombie admin. So, these are different batch files. So, if I click on these, these will start the server in like diff with different um, add-ons um, as part of it, and it's it's super easy. So. Let's see, so if I just click, double click start, this fires up, this window fires up, then literally a couple of seconds later, you'll see this, so this is the um, this is the log as it's going through and doing all its stuff. Um, and then I can log in really fast on Daisy, get, get in really, really fast, and then if something doesn't work, bonk, I can shut it down, and then I can click start again and we can restart it. Um, things like uh, community online tools and CF and Zombri all work fine, um, and it gives you that insight into it. Now, so there we go. That's my selling thing. If you're into installing mods onto um, remote Daisy servers for community for community um, servers, um, have your own offline local server running so you can play around with it. Um, and I'll put a link in the description below the, below the video to my guide I've done. Now, there's lots of guides out there. If you just look up how to install a local Daisy server, you'll see it's free to do <clears throat> as well. Um, Daisy isn't free. You've, you've still got to have a, a working copy of Daisy, you know, registered on Steam for it to work. Um, but there we go. So there we go. That's my big hint and tip to how to get better at installing mods and understanding mods on your private servers have your own local server running okay so if you found the video useful hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and of course i'll see you again soon